Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Difference Well YouTube channel. I hope you all out there having a wonderful day like your girl. And if not, manifest, plan, and prepare for a better one because I guarantee you all, it's surely coming to you guys for sure. And if this is your first, second, third time or more to my YouTube channel, welcome, happy to have you. Before you guys leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and YouTube, excuse me, that no notification bell so when I drop content, you guys come into Difference Well and you come and learn about your girl, yeah? And speaking of coming and learning, I'm an author, motivational speaker, CEO of my own small business, Third Eye Entertainment, LLC, a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate, inspire, and entertain all at once. So again, first, second, third time, or more, it don't matter. Just hit the subscribe button for your girl. Yeah, for sure, you guys. All right, so today's Monday, uh, Thanksgiving week, you know, it's a big week. Uh, let's start it off bright with some motivation. You guys know on uh, Mondays we do our motivation vlog. And so this one, um, <clears throat> I meant to do this as uh, one of our spiritual vlogs. I hadn't done one in a while, and I meant to drop this as one. And so um, I just thought of, you know, hey, maybe I do a mesh of this, uh, both uh, spiritual motivational and just regular motivation. So hey, okay. here it is. <laughs> and so with that being said, this is a uh, title is going to be called The Power of Letting Go. Um, man, you guys, it's, it's a spiritual movement when you let go of all the hurt and pain that you went through in your past and you heal from it and you move on, man. You, there's so many doors open up for you. You're able to achieve whatever it is that you manifest in for, man, what you dream about and what you were meant for when you let go of, you know, bullshit and, and things that, you know, ain't, wasn't meant for you. And uh, for me, man, I, I got to practice what I preach. You know, if I'm out here, you know, trying to motivate you guys, I got to take my own advice, right? And so with me, just, you know, I had issues staying stuck in the past. You know, I'm just like everybody else. We went through some things and having a hard time letting it go. But like I said, when it came for me facing that ugly truth and, and realizing who I was and I was stuck where I was in life and, and realizing that, hey, it was on me to fix whatever I went through in my past and then and move on from it, man. And once I started doing that, man, I just, it, I think been easy for me, but it's just been so much more manageable and able to handle because I'm not dealing with that baggage that that's dead and, and done and, and can't be changed and so with that um I, I happened to come across this book by by john perkins uh titled the power of letting go and it's a subtitle to it <laughs> but the main title was the power of letting go man and, and and just being on my spiritual journey and just uh getting my mental health and keeping it in check um I've ordered this book and I'm still waiting on it to come in, but uh, I found a video, you know, that was just talking about the 10 uh, main points in his book that he talks about when it comes to uh, letting go of your past or any, you know, traumas that you know, hurts, uh, disappointments that you went through in your past, man, and just looking at the video, I'm so excited for the book, and so... Um, Without me further, you know, yip yapping and jaw jacking, I want to share with you guys this video I found from Wisdom from Pages, uh, talking about, like I said, you know, his 10 main points. And uh, I want to share it with you guys. You check it out. And once you guys come back, we'll talk a little bit more about those main 10 points and a little bit more of what's going on in Difference World. Well. Yeah? Here it is. Welcome to our Wisdom from Pages channel, where we explore valuable insights to enhance personal growth and success. In today's video, we will delve into the compelling book, The Power of Letting Go, How to Drop Everything That's Holding You Back, by John Perkis. Let's discover the 10 essential lessons from this transformative guide to freeing oneself from what no longer serves us. Lesson 1, Embracing Impermanence. One of the profound lessons from The Power of Letting Go is the importance of embracing impermanence in our lives. By acknowledging that change is inevitable, we can adapt and evolve more gracefully. Letting go of attachment to outcomes and embracing the fluidity of life allows for personal growth and new opportunities. Lesson 2, Releasing Emotional Baggage Another crucial lesson is the need to release emotional baggage that weighs us down. By identifying and addressing unresolved emotions, we can release negative energy and make space for positive growth. This includes forgiving ourselves and others, allowing healing, and embracing emotional freedom. Lesson 3, Cultivating Self-Compassion Self-compassion is a vital aspect of letting go. 
This lesson reminds us to treat ourselves with kindness and understanding, especially when facing challenges or setbacks. By cultivating self-compassion, we develop resilience and the ability to bounce back stronger from obstacles. Lesson 4. Surrendering Control The fourth lesson emphasizes surrendering control and trusting the process of life. Often, holding on to the illusion of control limits our potential for growth and creates unnecessary stress. Letting go of the need for control empowers us to go with the flow and embrace the unexpected. Lesson 5. Embracing Change Change is inevitable. And this lesson highlights the importance of embracing it. The power of letting go teaches us how to navigate life's transitions with grace and openness. By letting go of resistance and embracing change, we unlock doors to new possibilities and personal transformation. Lesson 6. Practicing Mindfulness The sixth lesson focuses on the practice of mindfulness. By cultivating present moment awareness, we develop the ability to observe our thoughts and emotions without judgment. Letting go of the past or worrying about the future. We can fully embrace the richness of the present. Lesson 7. Detaching from Outcome Detaching from outcomes is essential to let go of expectations and embrace freedom. This lesson encourages us to focus on the process rather than becoming fixated on a specific result. By releasing attachment to outcomes, we open ourselves to unforeseen opportunities and personal growth. Lesson 8. Finding Inner Strength Finding inner strength is a powerful lesson in the journey of letting go. By recognizing our innate resilience and building emotional and mental fortitude, we can overcome challenges and step into our personal power. Letting go of limiting beliefs and embracing our strength allows us to achieve our goals. Lesson 9. Cultivating Gratitude The ninth lesson highlights the transformative power of gratitude. Letting go involves appreciating what we have in our lives and shifting our focus on abundance rather than scarcity. Through cultivating gratitude, we invite more positive experiences and create a foundation for happiness and fulfillment. Lesson 10. Embracing Self-Discovery The final lesson is about embracing self-discovery. Letting go requires introspection and a willingness to explore our authentic selves. Through self-discovery, we unlock our true potential and live a life aligned with our values, passions, and purpose. Thank you for joining us on this transformative journey through the 10 lessons from The Power of Letting Go by John Perkis. We hope these valuable insights inspire you to let go of what no longer serves you and embrace personal growth and success. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to our channel for more empowering content, and share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Remember, by letting go, you can create the life you truly deserve. Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed listening and watching in on that uh, video that I found from uh, Wisdom from Pages. Again, be sure to check them out and show them love on their YouTube channel. Um, but with that video, as you guys seen, they were going over, you know, the basic main 10 points in John Perkins' book, uh, The Power of Letting Go. And as you guys seen, uh, the 10 main steps in order to, you know, let go of the past and move on in life. Step number one is, um, what was it again? I don't see and act like I didn't have a red down, so I'm usually glad I see here. Uh, embracing uh, impermanence, and that basically means just accepting that change is inevitable and you know what's happening is going to happen. But again, it's all about your mindset and your attitude with things and how you handle it and look at things in life that doesn't go your way. You know, you, you can either let it keep you down or you can learn from it and let it mold you and make you a, bit, a better and bigger person than what you were and you can move on from it or you can know let it hold you down you stay stuck in the past it's all of you step two is you know releasing that emotional baggage you know getting rid of all that emotional uh, pain and, and drainage and emotional stress that you've gone through in life and if it's people in your life or in things that you know that's causing that emotional baggage Cut them people off quick, fast, in a hurry. I don't give a damn if it's family or not. I'm gonna be with you guys. I'm in the process of, you know, getting rid of that emotional baggage that's, you know, family. And so, I've done, you know, 
finally cut one person off and I'm not gonna lie, I've been happy and peaceful in ever since. <laughs> I don't regret it, so hey. Um, yeah, release that emotional baggage and get yours and keep moving in life. This is how it goes. Uh, step three is cultivating self-compassion. Again, just loving yourself and giving yourself grace and time and space to grow and forgiving yourself for whatever happened in the past. Again, you know, at times we bring that hurt and pain on ourselves or we do it to ourselves or we add on um, to that hurt and pain. So just don't forget to forgive yourself and love yourself through whatever trial and tribulation that you are going through and then you know let go of whatever mistake that you made or hurt or pain that you may have caused others you know in in the process as well as you know you can probably with that make amends you know attempts you know reach out to people that you hurt in the past and show that you've grown and matured and then you know acknowledge that what you did was wrong and that'll help you feel good about what just what you did and, and, and yourself and that also helps with you know moving on from the past I've, I've witnessed it and done it you know reaching out to people that I hurt in the past and just letting them know that you know I'm sorry and I'm not who I was back in the day and you know now we are cool <laughs> and so there's power in you know uh, cultivating self-compassion and forgiving yourself and others and then keeping it moving in life and then you know the fourth one they were talking about is surrender control and you know giving up uh, trying to control what you can't and things that are out of your hands and, and uh, just a part of the nature thing and a way of way life works and so I have to remind myself and just reading and listening to that video man it's a lot of things that I try to you know control or do damage control with and you know at the end of the day it's just nothing I can do about it and so I just had to get to a point where I'm getting to a point where you know some things where I can't control shit just don't worry about it <laughs> so uh, yeah, practice self-control when it comes to the power of letting go. So that was uh, number four main point. The fifth one, I think, was embracing change. You know, it all back goes back into uh, uh, main point one, you know, embracing impermanence. Again, change is inevitable. So again, embrace that change that comes and, and breaks you out of your comfort zone. I am having a hard time right now breaking out of my comfort zone. I'm doing it, but I want to go back to it. And it's so easy to go curl back up into your comfort zone. But you got to just keep pushing forth and continue to embracing that change and just accepting it. And, and even though at times if you're not liking that change, just know that over time it'll get better. You know, and so embrace change, especially good change in your life. And, and let that mold you and make you into a better person that will also, again, help with the power, you know, let it go. And so, again, but just also, what was the main point six was practicing mindfulness. Being, you know, mindful of the situation, your self-patterns and your emotions when, you know, you're going through things and situations. Being mindful of other people around you and just aware of the situation and what's going on and, and when you're in uh, that process of, of, of going through the motions and things that ain't going your way, just be mindful, you know, what you say you can't take back and what you do, you can't change. And so if you do something, you know, making a mistake or saying something you can't take back later on down the road, you know, you're going to be stuck on it. And again, you'll be faced with the issue of, you know, not being able to let it go. So be mindful of, you know, what you say and what you do. It can come back on to hunt you. So that's what I got from that <laughs> with that point. Um, what else? Um, detaching from outcomes is was another good point. Uh, another thing that I had to realize from myself is that I was attached to a situation and, and things that didn't work out and what I thought it was supposed to be and, and having a hard time again moving on and letting go from that fantasy of what I was expecting the outcome to be in that situation. Um, I'm still processing some, some, some things, and, and but... How I look at things now is like, thank God I'm, you know, nowhere where I used to be. I'm not where I am, where I want to be now, but thank God I'm nowhere where I used to be. And again, with that, detaching myself from, you know, outcome of things and, and, and thinking that it was supposed to go the way that I planned it to and accepting that, you know, the situation is what it is, you know, and, and having peace with it is, is it helps you again with moving on it makes moving on and letting go of things much easier when you detach yourself from the outcome and and don't have expectations when you go into a situation that's supposed to go the way that you plan you know like i say you can't plan for the unknown but you can you know expect that the unknown is coming and so again with that 
don't get attached to what you expect the outcome is supposed to be. That's what I got from that. Uh, number eight, what we got here is finding your inner strength. And again, that goes all into with keeping your mental health in check and, and, and maintaining it and keeping your peace of mind by any means necessary, whether that be, you know, physically getting active, you know, getting, like I said, fix yourself from the inside out. That's what I'm doing with myself is fixing myself from the inside out. And so, again, having that inner peace and, and building on that inner strength and, and, again, taking back your power from what you've been through and what you went through in your life and people that hurt you, man, that's the part of letting go is, you know, you, you get your power back when you let go, man. That, that ties into building that inner strength. So, remember, when you let go, that's every, every little situation that you, you went through in life, you're getting your power back. And so, building that inner strength when you let go. And so, I like that. Uh, with uh, that being said, number nine is uh, what it said was cultivating gratitude. So again, just be, uh, every day practicing gratitude for you know little things in life that you have. And you know, like I said, I'm grateful. You know, thank God I, I'm not where I want to be in life. True that, but thank God I'm nowhere where I used to be. So I'm so grateful. And from the situation he's brought me out of, and things I put myself through, I stopped doing it. You know, all the self sabotaging and wasn't getting me nowhere and I wasted a lot of time and missed a lot of, a lot of opportunities with, you know, uh, being, you know, stuck in the past and not letting go. And I'm so grateful, you know, looking back on it now, I'm totally, completely different person. It's like night and day. And so again, practice gratitude for, you know, what you've been through and, what, and where you're going and keeping you humble. And, and again, that'll keep you on the track of, you know, letting go. Um, I think the last one, what was the last one? We go ahead and uh, <laughs> embracing self-discovery it was the last one uh, that they had touched on again um, embracing you know finding out and learning about yourself and discovering you know who you truly are and accepting who you truly are and when you go through these things and you look back on situations that you know were hard on you and you realize that wow what I went through at that time and made me who I am today and so again with that just you know allowing yourself to go through the motions and letting whatever, you know, trial and tribulation that you're going through in your life make you a better person in that time and then just build you up and, and find out who you are within that time. Uh, and then again, afterwards, you know, heal from it and then let it go. And then that's, uh, again, that's basically the main 10 points of uh, John Perkins' uh, book on the power of letting go. And again, big shout out to Wisdom from Pages for uh, sharing that video. Go check it out. And basically, that's just my outtake on it, you know, letting go of things that didn't work out for you, what you expected for it to do, or what you wanted in life. Uh, when you let go and you trust God and, 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 and put your best foot forward no matter what, I promise you guys, it, it all works out in the end. And that's what having radical faith is all about. Um, and just believing in yourself and, and like I said, manifesting, planning, and preparing for whatever it is that you want in life, man. And it will come to you, but it won't come to you if you stuck on the past and won't let go, let go of shit that, you know, is holding you back and weighing you down. So in order for you to, first of all, you know, achieve, you know, your ultimate goals in life, you got to let whatever you uh, that's holding you back, let it go. Just cut it off, man. You can't fly with all that weight holding you down. And so there's power in letting go of all the hurt and the pain in the past that you know what you went through and so again if you guys out there that's uh on this journey a spiritual journey of you know growth and change and you at that stop you know when you just can't let go of things just remember whenever you let go of something little by little you're getting your strength back you're taking back your power and so again just remember it's on you when it comes to when it keeping your mental and maintaining your mental health uh you have to do what you have to do and face that ugly truth that, hey, whatever I went through in life, it, it sucked, it was out of my control, but moving forward and, and gaining better control on it's on me. And I got to let whatever that, that was holding me back in the past, I got to shake it off and let it go. And so again, you guys, I encourage you all out there to let whatever is holding you back, holding you down, uh, uh, waking you up in the middle of the night or causing you to lose sleep, whatever it is, just let that shit go. I don't mean to, you know, cuss and with my little bit for spiritual, but you guys know me by now. I, I, what you see is what you get, and I try to keep it real, man. And, and with that, um, anybody out there, again, 
that that's going through this situation and is having issues with letting go, I encourage you, man, just taste and see when you trust in God. And, and, and again, it's not going to be easy, but it's going to be worth it. And so let it go, whatever it is in life that's holding you back. <laughs> and then whatever it is in life that you're feeling that you're destined for, you can manifest, plan, and prepare for it, and it will surely come to you guys. So again, if y'all like my topic on the power of letting go, be sure to show me by liking, sharing, comment, and definitely, guys, subscribing to my YouTube channel. I truly appreciate all the love and support that I'm getting. Definitely keep it coming and don't stop. As well as you guys can check out me on my uh, website, on my other social media handles, my uh Instagram, my Twitter, of course. Why I keep saying Twitter, y'all? We ain't on Twitter no more. Damn, Elon Musk with all that BS. I don't, I don't have time for that anymore. I'm sorry. But I am on TikTok, you guys. I'm getting a little better at it. Right now, what I'm doing is just working on um, my travel clips. I'm seeing that a lot of those are getting attention. So, uh, again, go to my website, differenceworld.net, and check out all my other social media handles, as well as anybody out there looking for motivational speakers, looking to do podcast collaborations, get at your girl. Again, I'm free of charge as of now. Just hit me up on my website or uh, DM me or email. Get at me by any way necessary. I ain't hard to find. Uh, with that being said as well, don't forget my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, is available on my website, again, differenceworld.net. And uh, this book, again, was written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations, you guys. So remember, <laughs> this is intended for a mature audience. It has sensitive content. And so if you can't take this type of heat, Still come on to the kitchen. Just get your little fire bucket. You'll be all right. Make a little cinch, but you'll survive. And that's the point of it all, you guys, is to have these conversations that need to be had and that are often swept under the rug and turned a blind eye to. And the way that I set this book up is, is, is in a manner to get your attention and push that envelope to have these conversations. And, and not just to, you know, piss off a certain, you know, group of people, but to get all groups, you know, talking about these issues and then hopes of creating systemic change instead of dwelling on systemic racism. And so again, go to my website, differenceworld.net and get your copy of my book, Different, uh, excuse me, <laughs> What If A Controversial Paradigm Shift. Uh, a great gift uh, to give loved ones and friends for the holidays, you know, Chris, Christmas is around the corner. So definitely um, get your copy again, my website, differenceworld.net. I appreciate all the love and support. Keep it coming and don't stop. <laughs> Moving on, you guys. Uh, what else we got going on? Tomorrow's Tuesday. You guys know usually on Tuesdays we do our social awareness content. So I'm thinking, um, uh, I know November is the, usually the month of uh, Movember. They usually call it for prostate cancer. And so uh, we'll see you guys what will go down for the social awareness. Again, that's why you guys got to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. So when I drop content, you guys just come on into Difference World and you come and learn about your girl. Yeah? And so, again, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, you guys. And with that being said, we're going to move on to our mental health check time uh, for those out there who may need it, including myself. You know, the holiday season, it gets a little rough for me, man. Be uh, coming up on two-year anniversary of my mom's passing. Um, she passed away in uh, 2021, the day after Christmas. She died in my arms. And... Um, it's just second time around, man, and so many more to go. And so I, I just have to get used to this new normal and going through these motions all over again. You know, I, I really don't even remember last year. It was just a complete birth for me. And so um, I know I'll make it through <laughs> this year. Uh, I'm going to be all right, just like I was last year. And so, again, uh, you guys just remember, got to keep you a plan of action. If, you're going, if you've lost somebody uh, during the holidays, it, it, it is a very depressing time, you know, around Christmas time for us. And so remember to keep you guys a plan of action and you know, stay around loved ones or find something to do or like me go volunteering. I'm looking forward to volunteering in the Thanksgiving Day Parade in Houston. And so um, as well as when I do some volunteer work uh, in December. And so again, those out there that's going through any type of mental illness, stress, uh, anxiety, the depression, is feeling suicidal thoughts, having anxiety attacks, you know, even dealing with bullying or, you know, drug relapse, please know that it is okay to not be okay, but don't ever sit there and not be okay. Go get help, man. Whatever that may mean to you, speak, be, speaking with a therapist, a family member, a friend, picking up a hobby, uh, mending broken bridges, cutting people off, even getting on 
you know, medication if that's the case. Do whatever it is that you have to do that keeps your mental health in check and keep you from going off the deep end and possibly taking anybody with you. If you need or if you know anybody who may need these mental health resources, please feel free to share it with me. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255 or you can call or text 988 or you can text 741-741. And for those that would prefer to go online, you guys can check out mentalhealthishealth.us or you can visit 988lifeline.org. And for those that are outside of the U.S. checking out your girl's YouTube channel, you guys can visit incounseling.com. Again, incounseling is spelled E-N-C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G.com. And remember, you guys, although I am giving you these mental health resources, you have to remember to do your own homework and your own research and find what works best for you because at the end of the day, you're the captain of your own ship and you decide where to navigate the waters. No one else. Okay? As well as with that being said, I just want you guys to remember every trial and tribulations that you are going through at this time in your life, this too shall pass and you will get through it. So going off the deep end is not an option. Therefore, it's not worth it. So don't do it. Okay? And so with that being said, you guys, uh, we're going to wrap it all around again to my vlog with the power of letting go and what it means and you know, what it means the reward like when you let go of you know things that have hurt you in the past or people that have wronged you and you forgive them and it's so much you know rewarding when you do so man and so many doors open up for you man you have so much more to live for peace of mind you wake up happy you get a full night's rest <laughs> and so man just think about it as well as you know uh think about what john perkins's list you know what he said those 10 main points when it comes to letting go I know I will. I'm, I'm waiting on the book to come through now. So uh, with that being said, you guys, again, if you enjoyed my vlog, be sure to show me by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, you guys. And don't forget, whatever it is in life that you're feeling you're destined for, you have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it. And it will surely come to you guys. Different 12. Come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustration? What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical? What if? A controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.